and welcome to this Ag Magic Ag Venture. Today we will answer the question, what is an insect? Insects are first and foremost arthropods. Arthropods, whose name means jointed legs, includes animals such as arachnida, which are spiders, myriapoda, centipedes and millipedes, and crustaceans, such as shrimp, crawfish, lobsters, and krill. And lastly, the topic of this video, insects. But what makes an insect an insect? Well, like their arthropod cousins, insects possess a hard exoskeleton made of a material called chitin, with soft spots at the joints that allow them to move. Some arthropods, like spiders and crustaceans, have two main body segments, a cephalothorax and an abdomen. These abdomens can have eight legs like a spider or 10 like a crawfish. But what makes insects different from these other arthropods? Well, all insects have three main body segments. And unlike their arthropod cousins, they have six legs. These segments are a head that contains all the parts that allow the insect to see. This includes two compound eyes and a smaller set of eyes that detect the presence of light and dark. Insects smell with their antenna and eat with their mouth parts. The thorax contains all three pairs of legs and in most insects, wings. Insects are unique among arthropods because they are the only ones capable of flight. And finally, an abdomen. This section of the insect contains many of the insect's organs. It also is the section of the insect's body that is the primary area for digestion and reproduction. Insects are the most diverse group of animals on the planet and are an essential part of our lives. There are 24 orders of insects. The largest insect orders are Coleoptera, which include beetles, Hymenoptera, which are bees, wasps, and ants, Lepidoptera, which includes butterflies and moths, Diptera, or flies, and Hemiptera, which are bugs. There are nearly one million species of insects, but some entomologists, those are people who study insects, believe there could be five million species of insects. Consider, that would be more species of insects than there are people in Louisiana. About 75% of all known animal species are insects. Insects impact our lives in many ways. Some can cause harm by biting or stinging, they can be fun to watch, chase, or catch. Louisiana agriculture depends on insects for pollination, such as beetles, bees, wasps, and flies. On the other hand, insects such as stink bugs, moths, and beetles can eat Louisiana crops and cause destruction. Insects live in many different places, such as the Arctic tundra, temperate forest, tropical forest, deserts, grasslands, and even on the bayou. They vary in size, color, and shape, and some can use weapons for survival, like the assassin bug, which is known to use venom to capture prey. The rhinoceros beetle has a large horn to fight off other male beetles. The praying mantis has spiny legs to capture prey. Ants, beetles, and wasps, and many other insects use their mandibles to kill prey or fight off predators. Some insects use camouflage to survive. Camouflage is when one living thing resembles its environment like a leaf or a stick. Now that we've learned what makes an insect and explored the crazy diversity of insect life, let's find out more about insect growth and development, which is called metamorphosis. Metamorphosis in biology means the process of transformation from an immature form to an adult form in two or more stages. It is important to know that different insects have different life cycles and patterns of growth. There are three types of metamorphosis in insects, and these are big words. Insects can be ametabolous, hemimetabolous, or holometabolous. Ametabolous means without metamorphosis. Insects with this life cycle look just like an adult insect when they hatch from their eggs, only smaller. These insects have a hard exoskeleton, which means outside skeleton, and this protects an insect's soft body parts and organs. Examples of metabolous insects are silverfish and bristletails. Hemimetabolous means simple or incomplete metamorphosis. 
These insects have three distinct life cycles, eggs, nymphs, and adults. These insects start out as eggs, but when the egg hatches, a nymph comes out. Nymph is a word we use for a baby or immature hemimetabolous insect. These insects' life cycles are usually a little more complex and include crickets, grasshoppers, cockroaches, termites, and true bugs. Some hemimetabolous insects have nymphs that are aquatic, which means they live in water. Holometabolous insects are insects that have complete metamorphosis. They have four life stages. These insects start as eggs, and when the egg hatches, a larva comes out. The larva looks like a worm and eats and eats so that it can grow much larger. Remember the very hungry caterpillar? It also grows through stages called instars. Eventually, when the larva is big enough, it molts and changes into a pupa. Pupa usually cannot move or eat, although sometimes they wiggle. The pupa is a special time when the insect changes into an adult that looks very different. When the insect is finished developing, the pupa opens and the adult emerges. Most larvae can eat a huge amount of food in a short time. Here are some black soldier flies living on a pizza. Look how quickly they eat it and how they grow in the process. The larvae are accumulating resources they can use to pupate and to reproduce. This is pretty neat because we can use these insects to break down our organic waste. They are really good at processing food and therefore quite nutritious. They can be used as a quick form of protein to feed livestock like chickens or even ourselves. Have you ever eaten a bug? Nowadays you can buy food made from insects like chips, cookies, chocolate, and flour. Many insects have a holometabolous life cycle with an egg, larva, pupa, and adult. Some of these insects are beetles, flies, moths, butterflies, ants, bees, and wasps. So that's insect metamorphosis in a nutshell. We must remember that insects are cold-blooded. All insect growth and development is highly dependent on temperature. If it is warm, the insect will grow faster. If it is cold, the insect will grow more slowly. Information about growth and development of insects can help us manage pests or grow insects more effectively. Overall, insects are an irreplaceable and amazing part of our planet. Their ancestors were here before the dinosaurs, and their future generations will continue to make the planet a more interesting place. Go outside and watch, chase, and collect insects. Thank you.